Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Brian Mick. It's Tuesday, April 19th. It's time for our daily devotions. And I'm Deaconess Elizabeth. And uh, I know by the time you're going to watch this, it's probably going to be afternoon, but uh, we are going to be doing page 295 this morning in Lutheran Service Book, the morning devotion. So if you'd like to turn there now and join us, we will begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise. And with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips. And my mouth will declare your praise. Glory, glory be, be to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and will be forever. Be forever. Amen. Amen. All right, Deacon Elizabeth is going to introduce the hymn for us. Our hymn this morning is going to be hymn 469, Christ the Lord is Risen Today. It's a fairly shorter, short hymn, so we'll do the first two verses. Christ the Lord is risen today, saints on earth and angels say, raise your joys and triumphs high. Sing, ye heavens and earth, reply. Love's redeeming work is done. Fought the fight, the battle won. Lo, our sun's eclipse is o'er. Lo, he sets in blood no more. All right. And our devotion today is going to be from Hebrews chapter 10. We're starting in verse 1. For since the law has but a shadow of the good things to come instead of the true form of these realities, it can never, by the same sacrifices that are continually offered every year, make perfect those who draw near. Otherwise, would they not have ceased to be offered, since the worshippers, having once been cleansed, would no longer have any consciousness of sins? But in these sacrifices, there is a reminder of sins every year, for it is impossible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away sin. Consequently, when Christ came to the world, he said, Sacrifices and offerings you have not desired, but a body you have prepared for me. In burnt offerings and sin offerings you have taken no pleasure. Then I said, Behold, I have come to do your will, O God, as it is written of me in the scroll of the book. When he said above, you have neither desired nor taken pleasure in sacrifices and offerings and burnt offerings and sin offerings, these are offered according to the law, then he added, Behold, I have come to do your will. He does away with the first in order to establish the second, and by that will we have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all. And every priest stands daily at his service, offering repeatedly the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. But when Christ had offered for all time a single sacrifice for sin, he sat down at the right hand of God, waiting from that time until his enemy should be made a footstool for his feet. For by a single offering he has perfected for all time those who are being sanctified. And the Holy Spirit also bears witness to us, for after saying, This is the covenant that I will make with them, after those days, declares the Lord, I will put my law on their hearts and write them on their minds. Then he adds, I will remember their sins and their lawless deeds no more. Where there is forgiveness of these, there is no longer any offering for sin. All right, so this is our text for today, and it kind of follows with what I was saying yesterday, that um, the new covenant that we have in Jesus supersedes the old covenant that the Old Covenant was the covenant that called for the Jewish people to make sacrifices in the temple, which was the house of God, of animals, of blood, of goats and bulls and, and lambs and things like that. But these offerings could never truly take away sin. Uh, they were only temporary in the atonement that they offered. They needed to be done repeatedly. One of the uh, points that uh, the writer of the Hebrews makes today in explaining all this is that he talks about the priest is daily standing doing his, his service of offering these sacrifices. Um, and the reason the priest is standing is because he never gets any rest, because he's always receiving new animals from the people who are bringing um, these sacrifices to the temple. 
and uh, the priest never could, could, could take a break. But when Jesus, when his work is complete, he sits down at the right hand of the Father, showing that his work is now completed and that there is no more sacrifice that is necessary. And Hebrews makes it clear that this sacrifice is a once and for all type of a thing, that it does not need to be done repeatedly, continually. Uh, there is no follow-up, but that we have eternal life, forgiveness of sins, once and for all through Christ who makes the sacrifice on our behalf once um, uh, and, and does not need to be repeated. So, uh, let's continue as we pray together the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, merciful Father, who created and completed all things, on this day when the work of our calling begins anew, we implore you to create its beginning, direct its continuance, and bless its end, that our doings may be preserved from sin, our life sanctified, and our work this day be well-pleasing to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. All right. Well, Elizabeth, what announcements do you have for us today? All right. Well, this week we have uh, just a few things going on. Tomorrow is Wednesday, so we will be having youth night at a normal time uh, and the normal length of youth night as well from 6 to 7.30. We will also be painting a brick in the youth room, so make sure you're there for that as we do that once a year and you get to kind of uh, might make your mark in the youth room so be here be sure you're here for that and then choir practice is at uh, 7 30 tomorrow evening as well this Thursday uh, we are starting grief share back up in Nice Hall that's at 7 p.m. so if that is something that you would like to be a part of um, you can you may contact uh, Mrs. Mary Visaggio as she's leading that um, and uh, one other announcement for later this week on Sunday we will be having a very brief uh, VBS meeting uh, after the service, so uh, please be sure to stick around for that so we can get an idea of how many volunteers we're looking for um, and just to kind of go over the, the theme for this year as well. And also this Sunday after service, we're hoping to have our renovation committee meeting. Um, we're going to be getting some new tile samples, and so hopefully we can look at those with some of the other flooring samples that we have in mind. Um, no voters meeting for the month of April. We're going to be postponing that until the month of May. So um, uh, we'll be having the, the second quarterly voters meeting at that time. And uh, let's see. Oh, confirmation Sunday is not this Sunday, but it is a week from this coming Sunday. So um, we're excited to be confirming three confirmands this year. And just please keep them in your prayers as we move closer to the big date. Um, and then watch uh, as we send out the email newsletter tomorrow. We're going to have a thermometer graph in there to see how our joy campaign is doing. So you'll be able to get an idea of uh, where we are in terms of meeting our goals. I, I did make some announcements um, this past Sunday, and I'll talk more about those in the email newsletter. So thank you for watching. God bless this the rest of your Tuesday, and we'll look forward to seeing you back again tomorrow for Daily Devotions.